In this video, I will continue to talk about sarcopenia and how to build muscles in old age. So, as always, I recommend to download the full presentation from the link in the description. Then you will get access to all these uh, references uh, and the sources of information. And you can do your own research. Because I always tell that I am uh, I don't trust the so-called established science because I am a professional scientist myself and I know that there is no established science. Uh, science is, is uh, different people have different opinion. I have my opinion and other researchers have another opinion. So it is up to you to follow what opinion to follow. And I do this research for myself uh, also, and I see that it works. It means that my understanding of the problem is uh, close to be true, and then I use it for my own benefit. Will it work for you? I don't know, uh, because uh, we all, all humans are different. But I hope you, this information will help you to do your own research and to, do your, to decide about yourself, about your, your health. Uh, problem, another problem is that there are hundreds and hundreds of scientific publications uh, with uh, related to sarcopenia and aging and it is not easy to walk, to check all and again dominating opinion is very much different from what my, uh, from my understanding. But okay, let's go to the topic. Various factors contribute to sarcopenia, including insulin resistance, hormonal changes, nervous system alteration, low physical activity, chronic inflammation, and mitochondrial dysfunction. Mitochondrial abnormalities not only affect muscle fibers, but also impact motor neurons and the neuromuscular junction. Chronic inflammation and the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines are associated with lower muscle function and senescent cell accumulation. Strategies targeting low-grade inflammation and senescent cell removal, in along with proper nutrition and uh, physical activity, have the potential to improve the quality of life in older individuals. So the impact on overall health, lifespan may be limited. Synalytic drugs considered as promising intervention are approaching clinical trials aiming to eliminate senescent cells and potentially revolutionize approaches to age-related conditions. Yes, so I, I did myself, I used senolytic drugs, it gives some boost of energy and it, it works actually, but again it, is, it will not give you uh, longer life, it is just give you more energy. But again, if what I do, uh, I believe that I see the, the signs of rejuvenation of my body and let's go into more details so let's start from some general things uh, the saying women are born men are made and women are gold men are iron a highlight a perceived social societal uh, privilege for young and beautiful girls whereas young men seemingly start life in state of worth, uh, worthlessness. Yes, so we have to, as a man, I accept it. So we have to build, our, build ourselves. We have to forge our iron and to be valuable uh, uh, members of society. Men are ex expected to invest significant efforts in developing strengths and intellect, obtaining education, acquiring available skills to gain a higher st uh, social status. Only then they can attract the attention of young women and have opportunity to start a family. Uh, good health and physical strengths are crucial not only for attracting partners, but also for productive and creative life. However, a successful, even successful men age and the inevitable senile degeneration poses challenges, particularly in terms of age-related cognitive decline and physical strength loss, known as sarcopenia. Again, this is a big impact on your life. So I, don't, I know that people uh, who experience this uh, dementia and cognitive decline and uh, loss of physical strength, they don't want to live long. So, and my goal, as you probably know, my many uh, uh, visitors to my channel know that my goal is uh, to extend radical extension of my life, personal life, maybe to 1000 years. 
and to also it is it should be in good physical strength in good health and with all uh, cognitive abilities so it's a little bit i mean as much as as high as as high as possible the most devastating aspects of, uh, of aging are often considered to be cognitive decline and also of physical strength, as they said. While a longer life is desirable, the fear of facing a period marked by weakness, diminished energy, cognitive decline and the lack of joy uh, can uh, make a man not want to live long. I believe that humans can potentially live significantly longer, healthier and more productive lives in good health. But how can we achieve such an ambitious goal? Let's go into the problem of muscle loss and sarcopenia in older people because it is also a big part of the aging. Sarcopenia is defined as a progressive loss of muscle mass and strength associated with the natural aging process. This con uh, condition develops gradually with typical muscle, uh, mass loss uh, f about 3 to 5% per decade after age of 30. At more advanced stages, this loss accelerates. You can see the uh, uh, links to the references, number two and three. Recent data suggest various factors are contributing to sarcopenia, including insulin resistance, hormonal changes, nervous system alteration, low physical activity, chronic inflammation, changes in muscular structure, and mitochondrial dysfunction. Mitochondrial dysfunction characterized by the loss of uh, uh, muscle mitochondria, mitochondria DNA mutations, and an increase in the production of reactive oxygen species by mitochondria in condition of hypoxia, which damage DNA, proteins, and lipids, and, and it is close associated with sarcopenia. These changes may in turn alter uh, mitochondrial dynamics such as mitophagy, fusion and fission rates and induce apoptosis of the muscle cells, which may also lead to net muscle fiber loss. These mitochondrial abnormalities not only affect muscle fibers but also motor neutro neurons and neuromuscular junction. So you can go into details, it is quite complicated topic I would say. But okay, but it is worthwhile to go and to make research. Intervention, interventions aimed at slowing down sarcopenia mainly focused on resistance training and or protein supplementation. This you will find everywhere. In popular web website it is just say, okay, you have to go the, to resistance training and uh, eat more protein. But it is actually, you will see in my presentation, it is not completely but in part it is wrong resistance training can accelerate your aging actually and protein supplementation has no sense uh, if you cannot digest proteins properly so you have to do it smart way yes we need proteins we need a dry protein two, two gram per kilo of muscle weight or i mean of the body weight but uh, and resistance training you have to it is not okay it is resistance training is good for uh, for young people for older people as i was talking about already this that uh, resistance training has to be combined with uh, the endurance training okay so and because endurance training can uh, uh, make rejuvenate your uh, uh, carb uh, pardon uh, cardiovascular uh, system but resistant training actually accelerate aging so you have to do it smart and i i did it not right way and my muscles didn't grow i cannot say sarcopenia was developed and i was in good shape but yet again it is not a smart way to fight sarcopenia and only if you do properly then okay then i see results Meanwhile, the aging process is accompanied by chronic inflammation and increased release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, which have been linked to low muscle function and the accumulation of senescent cells. This inflammation, known as inflammation, uh, is associated with age-related uh, diseases and contributes to sarcopenia. I was talking many times that inflammation is a result of chronic hypoxia. So you have to improve blood, your blood flow and then everything will work. If you will not do it, nothing works. You just go aging and uh, physical uh, activity will help, but not much. No, not much. Of course, it is necessary, but again, it will not help much. 
The therapeutic uh, potential of anti-inflammatory strategies com uh, coupled with proper nutrition and physical activity is of great interest. Synalytic drugs viewed, viewed as promising intervention are on the brink of clinical trials. These drugs aim to eliminate senescent cells and could potentially revolutionize approaches to age-related conditions. I would say I tried it. Again, it is not a way to... It is way maybe to decelerate aging to some extent because uh, as senescent cells accumulate, you know, this chronic inflammation is increasing. And then uh, with increase of chronic inflammation, your blood vessels are stiffening and you, you uh, blood flow is, uh, is compromised, then your aging is getting accelerated. It is very complicated uh, interlinked uh, process, but okay, but you can combine uh, uh, senescence, uh, uh, I mean, senolytic drugs to kill senescent cells, and you can combine it with proper exercises, with proper supplementation, with proper protein digestion, and then it will work. Okay, that's okay. You can go to the references to make own research. And as I said, problems that so many publications, so many opinions, and to navigate in this uh, world, in, the, the, in this uh, research, it is not easy, especially as I said, I don't have any uh, support, official support. I do it my, my own research and to get my own benefits to myself, and it works, it works, I will talk about this later. So, okay, have a wonderful day, and uh, take care, ciao, ciao.